All right, so Dr. Phil, finally coming under scrutiny. I'm, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this day. Now some of you might be thinking, well, you know, what's wrong with Dr. Phil? He seems to be great for YouTubers lately. Everybody's having a great time with all of the lovely personalities that he's been bringing to life, like Danielle Brigoli, AKA the Cash Me Outside girl. Cash Me Outside, how about that? And all the other insane teenagers that are out there just living their best lives. So this time we, we've got we've got a girl who is trying to kind of do the reverse of the, I think, what's an A.O. Vicky or something? Th this chick? I knew I was black. You know, the extremely white chick who thinks she's a black person, like actually? Yeah, we got the reverse of that now. We got the reverse of that on Dr. Phil and it's pretty, it's pretty outrageous. So you guys might have seen a couple of these videos floating around by a couple of different people, but if not, here's a little, here's a little example of, of what that is. I'm white. I'm a Caucasian because Everything about me is different from an African-American. People try to tell me I'm an African-American, but that's not true. African-Americans are loud, rude, obnoxious, and just all together fat and ugly. Oh, I'm sorry, is the extreme racism over? Is it, is it, oh, my job's back? Okay, so this chick goes on Dr. Phil, starts saying all this stuff, and honestly, if you, if you watch all the parts, like she never says anything different. It wasn't like when, when Jillian Epperly, the Jilly Juice chick, was on Dr. Phil and you knew 100% she believed all the bullshit that was coming out of her mouth because she had different answers for everything. She tried to reason everything out and she was getting very emotional about the topic. You know, like I 100%, I you know, I believe that that woman believes the BS that comes out of her mouth, whether or not she's insane or legitimately trying to scam people. This chick, not so much. She just keeps saying the same things over and over again. Honestly, the, the white chick who thinks she's black does a better job explaining why she thinks she's black than this chick does thinking she's white. I have naturally straight hair. My hair isn't nappy. It doesn't require weave. My nose is not giant. It's like African-Americans. My lips are perfect. They're not too big and they're not too small. Like, they're just perfect. My ears, I don't have black people ears because they're really giant. Well, when it comes to black people, I think they're all ugly and I have nothing in common with them. Now, honestly, when I first saw this, I was pretty quick to be like, this is probably fake. Like, I, I don't think this is real. I Sadly, I do know people who have been very racist towards their own race. And it's like a really sad thing to do. And I think that says more about our society than, than anything. I think that says a lot. It's kind of very similar to like gay people who hate themselves. It, it's just, it's sad. But this didn't come across like that. This was not like, I hate, myself this was just oh my god it was, it was just trash oh and then there's all this stuff about america's longest running hate group treasure have you ever reached out to the kkk i have their number on speed dial call kkk they keep me like current on like updated events like how did people not immediately just say this was fake like i guess it was a pretty quick reaction that people started saying it was fake but like why was this, like, why have I not seen this clip until I started watching the Dr. Phil stuff myself? Why aren't people leading with this one? And it honestly seems like she's reading off a script because she would just keep saying the same things over and over again, but there'd be like no, no real passion behind it. Well, I know I'm a Caucasian because when I wake up in the morning, I just have such a great life and that my hair is so perfect, my skin isn't ugly, and I'm not fat also, which is also a really African-American thing. Someone actually had to look at a black person and say, wow, you're really fat. It's a black stereotype. They have giant lips. Their noses are really, really big. I'm definitely not black because insert list of horrible racial stereotypes. God, Dr. Phil, what is wrong with you? And then when they do the whole like little tour, tour of LA, she's clearly all about the money. And they have a Chanel, I think I'm gonna die. And that's pretty much what I immediately thought when I started seeing this. I was like, this is probably a girl who's seen the, the Lil Tay, Danielle Brigoli, the AO Vicky, all these other idiot teenagers who have done stupid things online to become memes, which then actually makes them famous enough to market themselves. Like they can make music videos, they can make more money, they can have television appearances, they can travel places for free. Like they're monetizing their internet stupidity, which is not really a new thing, but this just took it to the next level. So this, this girl just kind of reeked of that. And now the reason why I'm mad at Dr. Phil because of it is because there's no way he didn't know it was fake. I'm interested in doing this story because I think it's a teachable moment and not for sensationalistic shock value because of some of the outrageous things that she says. Bullshit, Dr. Phil. Bullshit. And I get it. You want to have guests on that you know are going to get attention, are going to draw views to your show. But as someone claiming to be a doctor, you have a responsibility. And yes, 
and I realize that he has a doctoral degree in psychology, but he does not have a license to practice medicine, so that means he cannot be a licensed therapist, he cannot offer medical advice, and should not be doing the things that he's doing on his show. Everybody wants to make it seem like Dr. Phil is some kind of, like, amazing person who does amazing things and offers great help when he is basically a glorified Jerry Springer. You know, of the numerous allegations of things that he's done, you get people saying that they were offered to come on the show with the promise of help with rehabilitation, then to only find what their substance addiction is in their room. So one guy said he came in because he was promised free rehabilitation and therapy. All he had to do was appear on the show. When he got there, there was a bottle of vodka in his room. So obviously he drank it. And then by the time he came on straight stage, he was drunk and Dr. Phil was able to make a spectacle of the situation. Obviously an addict is not going to be able to turn down a bottle of liquor in a room. Like you, you go somewhere looking for safe haven and then there, there's your demon right in front of you. I show up to the studios and I'm sober. I'm hurting a lot and I'm shaking. My dad was there and I went and talked to him in his dressing room and I was completely sober. And then they pull me into my dressing room and there was two liters of vodka and like some Red Bulls and orange juice and stuff like that. You know, being unsupervised by my parents, I drank the entire bottle. Um, and then at some point somebody gave me a Xanax. They said, this will calm your nerves. And so um, I had been drinking and took a Xanax, which I've never taken Xanax before in my life. And I know that can be a deadly combination, so why it was given to me, I don't know. Next thing you know, I'm being carried onto the stage because I can barely walk. He also bullies the hell out of guests. He's always done that, but he's just gotten worse over the years. And yes, when he's doing it to people like Jillian Epperly, who are literally getting people killed with their insanely dangerous fake medical advice, yeah, it's fun to have him really grind into them, but it's not cool when he's doing it to people who legitimately need help, who legitimately need therapy, who are young and probably just being stupid and making mistakes. It's literally, just, it's, a, it's like a Snape. It's like Professor Snape. It's a grown man getting off on, on being mean to people because he's in a position of power. So he berates guests, he exploits them to no end, and that's what this situation really is. This was, this was an exploitation situation. This was a situation where he thought, ah, I have a chance to recreate Danielle Brigoli. I have a chance to have another idiot teen sensation that drives traffic to my videos, to my show, but no, this time the internet caught on because somebody came forward and dished out the goods. Now, first off, there were posts saying that it was all fake. It was just the mom and the daughter wanted money and just wanted a free trip. And the brother was just going along with it for the sake of going along with it. But then this video popped out where you have somebody actually saying all of this stuff out loud. So it's not just kind of like a hearsay thing on the internet. Go along with Chad's bad idea. Cause she wanted to go to an all expenses paid trip to California. My mom's used to live in a certain lifestyle. She hasn't lived that lifestyle in years. She lost all of her money, it's broke. So, you know, she wanted to get this last hurrah in. I was asking them and asking them when they told us that they were going to go. What are you guys going to go for? I'm thinking it's going to be for some real shit. Treasure is banned from every CPS, CVS in America. She's a middle school dropout. Dr. Phil already didn't do his research because you can see posts from my sister saying stuff about, you know, Black Lives Matter and blah, blah, blah. And whether or not you want to believe that, that's up to you. But I think it's pretty legit information. And this is just one of many many cases on Dr. Phil that are just, it's just total bullshit. For every situation that is something that you can build up, you'll just take somebody who's gonna say something and be like, sure, if you guys can commit to the bit, let's run with it. And if this person was real, if this was a real person who was going to be this fucking racist and have this asinine belief that she is white, not black, but then just the reasons why she was gonna go into it was all just hateful stereotypes against black people, that is irresponsible put on the air. That's when you're like, look, I can't even help you. Let's pay for some therapy. I'm not qualified for this. And then he like, he, he calls her out when she says the R word so he can pretend to be a good person, but lets her run around saying the N word and all of that other racist shit. Well, I feel like if you're being delusional, then you gotta be some type of retard. Using that word uh, is very derogatory. So I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't use that word. I don't believe in going in a room full of s I would never do something like that. F*** you, Dr. Phil, and everybody else that Oprah has ever endorsed. Is there anybody that Oprah has endorsed that isn't shitty? What about Dr. Oz? Yeah, similar to Dr. Oz, even Dr. Phil has promoted shady weight loss products and stuff that just flat out doesn't work. Guess what? If you want to lose weight, eat less. Go for a f***ing walk. 
eat healthier, drink more water. It's all bullshit. And the fact that he would market them just shows how bullshit he is. So yeah, this whole situation is just one of many where Dr. Phil has clearly just lied, brought people on the show that are lying, and it's just the, the method that it's being put out there is exploitative. So even if some of these people were legit, even if there are people dealing with some of this stuff legitimately, which I'm sure some of them are, there's definitely people out there that do deal with things, not necessarily this situation, but other things that he's dealt with. The way he's dealing with them isn't right. It's not helpful. It's not helping anybody. And don't get me started on the ranch. The fucking Dr. Phil ranch. But anyways, uh, let me know what you guys are thinking of this situation down below. Do you think she's somehow legit? Do you think uh, Dr. Phil is knowingly putting people like this on the air? Do you think he purposely builds up their problems so that they're more ent entertaining on screen? Because I definitely do. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Have a fantastic day. I'll catch you all later.